Greetings, esteemed CEO and the rest of the members of the executive team. I am Chelsea Coley, delighted to be here along with our HS Solutions team, Ms. Devikai, Ms. Labaniego, and Ms. Loreto, to present the outcomes of our recent internal analysis of your company, BMW. This analysis represents a critical step in your ongoing efforts to refine strategic direction and optimize operations. By examining internal capabilities, resources, and processes, we aim to identify opportunities for enhancement and ensure alignment with its overarching goals. Together, let's explore the findings that will guide our path forward. BMW, originally known as BioRish Motor and Work GmbH, traces its roots back to Rap Motor and Work GmbH, which is a company established in 1913 that specialized in producing aircraft engines during World War I. So the company's name, BioRish Motor and Work, translates to Bavarian Engine Works Company, reflecting its origins in the German state of Bavaria. So during the war, Rap Motor and Work played a crucial role in supplying aircraft engines to the German Emperor's Air Force. However, with the end of the war and the restrictions imposed by the Treaty of Versailles on Germany's ability to produce aircraft, BMW had to pivot its focus. So instead, it turned its attention to manufacturing railway brakes and built-in motors, which was a move that proved highly successful. So in 1920, BMW's trajectory took a new turn when the Berlin-based brakes company Nor Bremse AG acquired a majority stake in the company. So this led to the integration of BMW into Nor Bremse AG which subsequently relocated the company to Munich, which is the capital of Bavaria. However, BMW's independence was short-lived, as in 1922, Camillo Castiglioni, a major investor and aircraft construction pioneer, acquired the BMW name and assets. So under Castiglioni's leadership, the company's operations were transferred to Bayerisch of Volkswagen AG, or BFW, formerly known as Gustav Auto Flug Machine Fabric. So BFW then changed its name to Bayerisch Motor and Work AG, marking the second time the BMW name appeared in the commercial register. So this transition solidified BMW's position as a legal successor of BFW. So the company's headquarters and parent plant have remained in Munich, specifically at the former BFW site in Milberschofen. So this location holds historical significance as it served as the foundation for BMW's growth and development over the years. Additionally, March 7, 1916, the founding date of BFW is celebrated as BMW's official birthday, symbolizing the company's enduring legacy and its origins in aviation technology. BMW Group's mission, vision, core values are the following. So mission, to move people with products that evoke emotions. Vision, to be the most successful, most sustainable premium manufacturer for individual mobility. And core values, having responsibility, appreciation, transparency, trust, and openness. BMW's mission encapsulated in the phrase to move people with products that evoke emotions embodies a profound commitment to both functionality and sentiment in their offerings. So the mission statement underscores the company's dual focus on providing mobility solutions while also ensuring a deeply emotional connection with their customers. So at its core, BMW's mission emphasizes two key components moving people and evoking emotions. So the first component, moving people, speaks to the fundamental objective of facilitating mobility for customers. So in the context of the automotive industry, this refers to creating vehicles that not only transport individuals from one place to another, but also enhance their overall experience of movement. So whether it's through innovative technology, design, or performance, BMW aims to provide solutions that enable seamless and enjoyable mobility. The second component, evoking emotions, underscores the importance of eliciting a positive emotional response from customers. So beyond mere functionality, BMW recognizes the significance of creating products that resonate on an emotional level. So this emotional connection can profoundly influence 
the competitiveness and desirability of their offerings in the market. By crafting vehicles that evoke joy, uh, excitement, or admiration, BMW seeks to forge a lasting bonds with its customers and differentiate itself from competitors. So importantly, BMW's mission statement serves as a guiding principle for the company's competitive and growth strategies. It informs decision-making across various facets of the business, from product development and marketing to customer experience initiatives. By aligning their efforts with the goals outlined in the mission statement, BMW endeavors to ensure that their products not only meet customers' functional needs, but also evoke meaningful emotional responses. We also have its vision to be the most successful and most sustainable premium manufacturer for individual mobility. So BMW's vision encapsulated in this statement articulates a bold ambition to lead the automotive industry on multiple fronts. So the vision statement sets forth a clear roadmap for BMW to achieve preeminence in the realm of automotive manufacturing while prioritizing sustainability and premium quality. At its core, BMW's vision hinges on four key components, most successful, most sustainable, premium manufacturer, and individual mobility. So each component plays a crucial role in shaping the company's overarching aspirations and strategic direction. So firstly, the aspiration to be the most successful reflects BMW's relentless pursuit of leadership within the automotive sector. So this entails not only achieving market dominance and financial pr prosperity, but also setting industry benchmarks for innovation, uh, customer satisfaction, and operational excellence. Secondly, the emphasis on being the most sustainable highlights BMW's commitment to environmental stewardship and corporate responsibility. So in an era of increasing focus and sustainability, BMW recognizes the imperative to minimize its ecological footprint, uh, reduce emissions, and promote eco-friendly practices throughout its value chain. Thirdly, positioning itself as a premium manufacturer underscores BMW's unwavering dedication to crafting vehicles of uncompromising quality, luxury, and performance. So this commitment to premium craftsmanship and engineering excellence serves as a cornerstone of the brand's identity and differentiation strategy. Lastly, the focus on individual mobility underscores BMW's recognition of the evolving needs and preferences of modern consumers. So by prioritizing personalized mobility solutions, BMW aims to cater to the diverse lifestyles, preferences, and demands of individual customers, thereby enhancing their freedom and convenience. Moreover, BMW's vision statement embodies a holistic approach to business that integrates sustainability, innovation, and customer centricity. Rather, By aligning its strategic objectives with its core values, BMW seeks to establish itself as a paragon of success, sustainability, and premium quality in the automotive landscape. So achieving this vision requires BMW to leverage its strengths address its weaknesses, uh, capitalize on opportunities, and mitigate threats. So through strategic initiatives, investments in research and development, and a relentless focus on customer value, BMW endeavors to surpass competitors and emerge as the undisputed leader in the global automotive market. BMW's organizational culture serves as a foundational framework that underpins the company's business objectives ensuring alignment between its values and strategic direction. So central to this culture are core values that guide employee behavior and decision making, ultimately contributing to the company's success as a car and motorcycle manufacturer. So the core values inherent in BMW's culture, responsibility, appreciation, transparency, trust and openness, embody principles that foster a conducive work environment and drive performance. Responsibility stands as a cornerstone of BMW's culture, instilling a sense of accountability among employees. So the company emphasizes the importance of individuals taking ownership of their actions and fulfilling their roles within the organization. So this commitment to responsibility extends beyond 
internal operations to encompass broader initiatives in corporate social responsibility and environmental sustainability, reflecting BMW's dedication to ethical business practices. Appreciation is another key value cultivated within BMW's culture aimed at fostering a culture of recognition and gratitude. So by acknowledging the contributions of its workforce, uh, BMW nurtures employee morale and engagement, fostering a positive work environment conducive to innovation and collaboration. Transparency, trust, and openness are fundamental pillars of BMW's organizational culture, facilitating effective communication and knowledge sharing. So the company prioritizes transparency in its operations, promoting openness and honesty among employees. So this culture of Transparency builds trust within teams and across organizational hierarchies, fostering a collaborative environment where ideas can freely flow. Such openness encourages innovation, uh, enabling employees to share insights and perspectives that drive creativity and problem solving. BMW's organizational structure comprising hierarchies, divisions, groups, and teams plays a crucial role in shaping communication dynamics and fostering the desired traits of the organizational culture. So by promoting transparency, trust, and openness at all levels, BMW enables effective collaboration and cooperation, driving continuous improvement and innovation throughout the business. Under BMW Group Board of Management, we have the following key personnel. Oliver Zipse, Chairman of the Board of Management, Yoen Goller, Customer Brands and Sales, Ilka Horsmeyer, People and Real Estate and Labor Relations Director, Walter Myrtle, Finance. Dr. Milan Nadelkovic, Production, Dr. Joaquin Post, Purchasing and Supplier Network, and lastly, Frank Weber, Development. Under the Supervisory Board, we have Dr. Norbert Reithofer, Chairman of the Supervisory Board, Dr. Martin Kimmich, Chairman of the General Works Council of BMW AG, Stefan Quant, Entrepreneur, Stefan Schmidt, Chairman of the Works Council of Engulfing. Dr. Kirk Bock, Chairman of the Supervisory Board of BASFSE. Christian Benner, First Chairwoman of IG Metal. Dr. Mark Bitzer, Chairman and CEO of Whirlpool Corp. Bernhard Ebner, Chairman of the Works Council Landshot. Rachel Ampe, Supervisory Board Member. Dr. Heinrich Heitzinger, Chairman of the Supervisory Board of ZF, Friendrich Chafin, AG, Johan Horn, Union Secretary at IG Metal, Dr. H.C. Susan Gladden, Entrepreneur. Jens Koller, Chairman of the Works Council, Leipzig, Gerard Kurz, Head of Corporate Quality at BMW AG, Andre Mandel, Chairman of the Works Council, Regensburg or Workersdorf, Dr. Dominique Mohabir, member of the Works Council, Munich. Anki Schaefer Court, member of Supervisory Boards, Professor Dr. Christoph M. Smith, President of RWI Leibniz Institute for Economic Research, Assen, University Professor, Dr. Vishal Sika, founder and CEO of Vinay Systems Incorporated, and lastly, Sibyl Wanko. Managing Director and First Representative of IG Metals Munich Office. Now, HS Solutions also delves on the company's business model canvas. BMW's commitment to excellence is evident in its array of customer segments, from high income individuals seeking luxury to brand conscious drivers valuing prestige, BMW delivers with its high end luxury products. Performance-driven customers, on the other hand, find solace in BMW's cutting-edge technology and driving experience. Fostering strong customer relationships is also paramount for BMW through offerings like the Copilot Driver Assistance and the BMW Connected Drive. The company ensures safety, connectivity, and an emotional bond with its customers. Channels ranging from dealerships to social media platforms serve as conduits for engagement, ensuring that BMW remains at the forefront of customer interaction. 
BMW's value proposition is anchored in quality and innovation. From high quality craftsmanship to pioneering automated driving technologies, BMW consistently pushes boundaries. As a pioneer in plug-in electric vehicles, BMW is shaping the future of sustainable mobility. Behind BMW's success lie key activities such as sales and marketing, car production, and the development of mobility services. These activities are supported by a robust set of resources, including the BMW brand itself, its diverse employees, and their modern robotic technology. Now, strategic partnership with dealers, IT companies, and energy firms further bolster BMW's position in the market. Navigating through a cost structure encompassing research and development, manufacturing, and marketing, BMW maintains profitability. Revenue streams from car sales, leasing, and service sustain its growth trajectory. In an industry, considering essential business factors is important for a company as it affects their overall operation and landscape. Without this, it may face potential risks and challenges in their strategic direction. For BMW, there is a consideration in an iron scope for action. Considering the varying imposed legislations across the countries worldwide that not only affects the company but also the entire automotive industry. For political factors, we considered business and political instability, foreign investment policies, and car use policies as the factors that is crucial for the operation of the business. For economic factors, we acknowledge the competitive automobile market, foreign exchange rates, and the volatility of tariffs across countries. For social-cultural factors, we have considered that the proper utilization of marketing channels allows efficient assessment for consumer preferences. Along with this is following the social trends in the luxury cars industry. Next, BMW is big on innovation, so we consider digitalization and Industry 4.0 in the technological factors that we considered along with electromobility. For legal factors, the company places an importance on its intellectual property. It also monitors the integrity of its imposed standards in line with their quality management system. Lastly, we widely consider labor laws as one of its important factors. Finally, for the environmental factors, BMW places great consideration on the circular economy, responsible raw materials management, and they are big on the efforts in reducing their wastes and carbon emission. Now we move on to BMW's strengths, and their first one is their global reach. With it operating in 140 countries around the world and having their network of 30 manufacturing facilities, BMW holds a 4.24 market share in the industry. The next one is innovation, which is evident in their improvement of electromobility, sustainability, digital services, and mobility solutions, among others. The third one is the research and development. This gives the company a competitive advantage because it allows for them to meet consumer demands and cater to the complexity of the market. On the other hand, the first one of their weaknesses is their high cost structure, which could influence pricing strategies and impact profitability, particularly in markets that are highly competitive or sensitive to price changes. The second one is their limited product differentiation. Because although BMW is a business with a global reach, their brands are relatively smaller than that of its competitors such as Volkswagen and Mercedes. The third one is their issues on lawsuits. BMW is engaged in various lawsuits and this actually faces greater emphasis on the importance of political factors. This could tarnish the reputation of the company and affect their public image. So as the results have shown, BMW ranked the highest in terms of quality, reputation, and customer service capability in comparison with both competitors, which are Volkswagen and Mercedes-Benz. BMW's success stems from its dedication to crafting high-quality automobiles through substantial investments in research and development, ensuring reliability, durability, and performance. So equally crucial is its focus on customer satisfaction achieved through surveys, feedback mechanisms, and proactive engagement. So by fostering strong partnerships with dealerships and swiftly addressing concerns, BMW builds enduring customer loyalty. So additionally, BMW's brand identity characterized by 
elegant design and sporty panache positions it as a premier luxury automotive brand appealing to drivers seeking style, performance, and comfort. BMW faces a disadvantage when it comes to manufacturing capacity. For BMW, flexibility of production capacities with regard to future unknown demand is a central issue. For BMW, ensuring flexibility in production capacities to accommodate future unknown demand is of paramount importance. So consequently, the company's corporate policy mandates the establishment of a flexibility reserve. This reserve represents the variance between anticipated demand and, and the existing production capacity for each product and production department within a plant. So the concept of a flexibility reserve serves several strategic purposes within BMW's operational framework. The first one, mitigating demand uncertainty. So the automotive industry is subject to various unpredictable factors, such as economic fluctuations, consumer trends, and regulatory changes. So by maintaining a flexibility reserve, BMW can buffer against unexpected shifts in demand. This reserve acts as a safety net, allowing the company to adjust production levels swiftly in response to fluctuations in market demand without incurring excessive costs or delays. Second, enhancing responsiveness. With a flexibility reserve in place, BMW is better equipped to respond promptly to changes in market conditions. Whether faced with sudden spikes in demand or unexpected downturns, the company can leverage its reserve capacity to adapt production schedules and allocate resources accordingly. So this agility enables BMW to optimize its manufacturing operations minimize inventory imbalances and meet customer needs more effectively. The third one is optimizing resource allocation. By defining a flexibility reserve at both the product and department levels, BMW can allocate resources more efficiently across its manufacturing facilities. So this ensures that production capacity is aligned with anticipated demand for each product line, thereby maximizing operational efficiency and minimizing idle capacity. Additionally, the flexibility reserve allows BMW to prioritize production in areas with higher demand or strategic importance, optimizing overall resource utilization. Lastly, facilitating strategic planning. The establishment of a flexibility reserve enables BMW to incorporate a proactive approach to strategic planning. So by systematically assessing the gap between projected demand and available capacity, the company can identify potential bottlenecks or areas of opportunity within its production network. So this information informs decision-making processes related to capacity expansion, uh, technology investments, and product portfolio management, enabling BMW to maintain a competitive edge in dynamic market environment. We now move on to another aspect of the company's performance, the financial analysis, wherein we start with the 2023 outlook. After a lackluster year in 2019 and a readjusted outlook for 2020, the company saw a significant growth for the succeeding years. This continued on with the outlook for 2023, wherein they projected better performing KPIs for all sectors. The only backtrack for the year and year profits before tax, and a part of the reasonings behind this are the weak economic um, performance, high inflation caused by geopolitical conflicts, and the prolonged supply bottlenecks. From 2023 reports show that the company's outlooks were indeed grounded. Profits before tax saw a 27.3 decrease compared to 111 average growth from 2019 to 2022. The automotive segment saw a significant increase in all of its KPIs following the company's projections for the year, contributing to the company's inventory turnover, the electromobility targets, and profitability and capital efficiency for the company. Same goes for the motorcycle and financial services segment wherein projections for the year were followed. In analyzing BMW's three major segments shows that automotive is the largest contributor to the BMW's group revenue, decreasing slightly during 2022. The motorcycle segment averages at 2% per year. The financial segment has a diminishing contribution towards the group revenue. However, year-by-year sectors, the revenue grows by 5%. 
For the company's financial ratios, we start with their liquidity. BMW's cash ratio showed signs of growth for the first three years. This then declines and stagnates in the succeeding years. And while this does affect short-term CAGR, long-term, and tr long-term trend for the company's liquidity has increased by 8%. Steering towards the capital structure, we analyze solvency ratios. BMW's narrative using the ratios is that BMW is slowly but surely less reliant on debt to finance their assets, which could strengthen the financial position in the long run. In analyzing BMW's profitability, present some interesting conclusions. Gross profit per year does not follow a trend, increasing and decreasing alternatively. Although the decrease in 2020 can be attributed to COVID, the decrease in 2022 may just be attributed to high cost of materials, considering the st strong growth of sales for the year. Operating profit ratio also does not follow a trend, with 2019 as the highest, signaling a marginal increase of operating expenses throughout the year. Some semblances of trend can be ascertained from the company's gross profit, showing an increase until 2022 and dropping sharply in 2023. Overall, it shows that while there is, has been a negative compound um, growth rate over the last two years, there has been growth when looking for the four-year CAGR. For BMW's operating ratios, their asset turnover shows positive trend signifying increased efficiency using their assets to generate sales. As for their inventory turnover, it is particularly stable, averaging at one, indicating their ability to sell all of their inventory in a year. Finally, for BMW showed positive growth for its return on equity in the first four years, signifying increased capabilities of BMW to use their equities to generate sales. This, however, declines in 2023, attributable to their decreased profitability for the year. Now, let's take a look at BMW's value chain analysis. Its success is intricately woven through a finely tuned tapestry of primary and secondary activities seamlessly integrated to drive efficiency, quality, and innovation throughout the business operations. Now let's take a look at the primary activities. First is their inbound logistics. BMW's just-in-time production approach or JAT approach ensures materials arrive precisely when needed, reducing storage costs, leveraging a sophisticated logistics network and a large supplier base, BMW minimizes lead time and enhances supply chain visibility. Next is their operations. With global manufacturing plans and lean principles, BMW delivers excellence in its business segments, including financial services, motorcycles, and automobiles, contributing to its robust revenue streams. Third is their outbound logistics. From order fulfillment practices to dealership contracts, BMW ensures prompt delivery of luxury vehicles to its diverse customer base, employing innovative systems like ProFlex to prioritize orders efficiently. Next is their marketing and sales activities. Through a mix of traditional and digital channels, BMW promotes its brand while revolutionizing the sales process with online innovations and targeted marketing strategies bolstered by impactful sponsorships. Service BMW's competitive edge lies in its commitment to quality service, offering inclusive maintenance, pack maintenance packages and ensuring um, vehicles remain in top condition through comprehensive checks and maintenance. Now let's proceed to BMW's secondary activities. First is their firm infrastructure. BMW's extensive organizational structure, led by experts in various fields, underpins its global operations, ensuring effective management and coordination. Human Resource Management With a diverse workforce and robust training programs, BMW fosters talent, promotes diversity, and maintains strong employee relations, vital for driving innovation and success. Now let's take a look at their technology development activities. Through substantial investments in research and development and a focus on sustainability and robotic technology, BMW pioneers advancement in automotive designs and manufacturing, staying ahead in a rapidly evolving market. And lastly, we have the procurement activities. BMW upholds ethical sourcing practices, ensuring environmental and social standards across its supplier network reinforcing its commitment to sustainability and responsible business practices. BMW's integrated business model not only drives success, but it also sets as a benchmark for excellence in the ever-competitive automotive industry, 
embodying a relentless pursuit of innovation, quality, and customer satisfaction. This slide shows the activity system map of BMW, which illustrates the link between the cluster of activities mentioned and the processes that support the highlighted com core competencies of the company, hence representing how activities pursued by the organization fit with and reinforce each other. Now we move on to the generic company strategy of BMW. For their position, the company strives for the continuous commitment in finding the balance between business in contrast to the environment and society. BMW furthermore emphasizes the importance of sustainability in value creation and fostering positive relationships with stakeholders by embedding ESG criteria into their strategies to address sustainability challenges and environmental impact, as well as corporate ethical practices and government governance standards. For the direction, BMW ensures the assessment of the economic performance within the company's corporate management system. This includes the emphasis on maintaining certain financial standards that are tied to their KPIs. Moreover, the company is dedicated in accelerating their process and digitalization functions for the efficient implementation and corresponding of expertise across departments. For collaboration, the presence of cooperation partners allowed the company the access to expertise and improvement in profitability and technology. Collaborations are also made by the BMW Group for the design and production of electrified drive components, next generation and innovation of high voltage batteries, new assembly sites, and planned new facilities. These were accompanied by the development of corresponding expertise. For the automotive segment, the company used the return on capital employed as the exhaustive key performance indicator, and based on these figures, the automotive segment is in a good standing. The same goes for the motorcycle segment that uses the same key performance indicator as the automotive segment. For the financial services segment, the company has used the return on equity as the KPI. They set this target of 14%, while the latest return on equity for the company for year 2023 is 17.2. BMW's overall performance is comprehensively measured by the consolidation of per segment performance and their other key performance indicators. Value added shows how efficiently capital is used and the cost of capital needed to produce profits for the group. However, the net value added by the BMW Group declined in 2023 due to lower earnings compared to the previous year. This is reflected in the decline in return on capital employed for both the automotives and the motorcycle segment from the previous year of 2022. In examining the BMW's strategic resources and its ability to effectively capture and provide value to the company is guided by the group company strategy. Their products are valuable, able to cater to a diverse range of consumer preferences. However, it is not rare due to the competitors also present in those segments, posing competitive parity. Their decarbonization efforts are valuable considering the climate and the heightened demand for accountability. It is rare, considering that an overwhelming of luxury cars are still powered by diesel or petrol. Furthermore, the initiative is costly to imitate, considering the few ways to do it is needs investment. And finally, BMW has leveraged the capabilities and resources to make this happen, ultimately becoming a sustained competitive advantage for the group. For direction, their innovation and digital digitalization are valuable, enabling them to improve both corporate and commercial processes. However, it is not unique due to hyper-competition. As for consumer orientation, focusing on consumer preferences are valuable to foster customer satisfaction and loyalty. However, consumer orientation is still not entirely unique, making them both competitive parities. The company's strategic approach includes electromobility. This is a valuable component for BMW considering the increased demand for electric vehicles. This is quite rare considering a large portion of luxury cars as they're powered by diesel and petrol, and it is very costly to imi imitate considering the hefty upfront capital. BMW has also utilized their resources effectively to accelerate the adoption of electromobility, posing a sustained competitive advantage for BMW. Their financial services segment also is also quite valuable, enabling smooth consumer connection. However, near competitors of BMW also offer financial services, making the resource a competitive parity. Finally, BMW circle economy is valuable because it lets them achieve two things, resource efficiency and their decarbonization target. 
this is still quite rare in an industry considering the brand equity attached to luxury cars. However, creating a circular economy isn't at all costly, even coming with the potential of becoming cost saving as a cost saving measure, giving BMW a temporary competitive advantage. For their collaborations, BMW's employment and society are valuable considering the heightened competition for talented professionals in the trade. However, every other company is also competing for talented professionals curating their own attractive employment conditions. Their purchasing and supplier network provides them high quality components to, to meet their stringent demands for quality and sustainability. It is, however, not rare, considering near competitors also employ a network of suppliers that may even coincide with BMWs, placing them at a competitive parity. BMW's production network is very valuable, considering that it allows them to manufacture all vehicle types, electric or not, in a single production line. The degree and sophistication of this is unmatched in the market. It, does, it also poses high cost to imitate, considering the interplay of factors that require investments, and the fact that BMW fully takes advantage of their resources to improve their production network and use it to its full potential provides them a sustained competitive advantage. Finally, the group's strong brand reputation both locally and internationally poses a valuable resource for BMW. With its own blend of product lines, positioning, and strategic decision makes this resource rare while also costly to imitate. The group also has the organizational skills to extract the maximum of their brand equity providing sustained competitive advantage. That would be all for BMW from the Hotshot Solutions.